Along with the two shootings we told you about at the top of the newscast, more gun violence is striking America right over this past weekend, including in places like New Orleans and Atlanta. Meanwhile, Democrats and Republicans are addressing the issue of gun violence in the wake of mass shootings the month in Colorado and Virginia. But as CBS 4's Cristian Benavides reports, the parties are not seeing eye to eye. In New Orleans early Sunday, police say a gunman opened fire on a crowd in the city's French Quarter, injuring multiple people. In Atlanta, a dispute between a large group of young people escalated into a shooting Saturday night, leaving a 12-year-old dead and several injured. Again, we see guns in the, in the hands of angry individuals leading to a tragic outcome. The incidents follow yet more deadly mass shootings that have renewed the national debate over gun safety. We have to visit these laws and do what is necessary to keep these guns out of the hands of people who should not have them. In the aftermath of the tragic attacks at an LGBTQ club in Colorado and a Virginia Walmart, President Biden said he wants to institute an assault weapons ban. The idea we still allow semi-automatic weapons to be purchased is sick. Just sick. You know, the, the number one priority with respect to crime in America for Republicans is going to be the fentanyl crisis. Now, that's going to be the top priority for Republicans uh, come January. Just over a week after the rampage at Club Q left five people dead, victims of mass shootings from around the U.S. gathered in Colorado Springs. They spoke about the help mass shooting survivors need and demanded accountability from nonprofit groups to ensure funds go to the people most in need. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami.